to the YouTube channel of the Life Engineering Academy, daily personal school for all those who want to take the responsibility of their own education in day-to-day -day life. I'm so happy to take this series ahead with the next alphabet in the English language, which is B. So B for best education system. So let us talk about it. In the first video, we spoke about A, which is aim of education. In the second video, we are talking about B, which is best education system. So education can mean different things to different people. For some people, education means being there in the classroom in a systematic manner and learning through a proper schooling system. While for the other class of people, education simply means a life-changing experience and a continuous process. So education means different things to different people around the world. There are majorly three ways in which the education can happen. The first way is the formal formal way. The second way is non-formal education and third one is informal education. In the formal education, we generally go to the school and learn in a systematic manner, in a step-by-step -step manner. The syllabus, it is mostly syllabus-bound training wherein everything is mostly fixed. It is also fixed that how the education is imparted, how it is evaluated and what is the method of learning, when and how they can learn. All these things are almost fixed in the first method, which is formal education or the proper schooling system, which teaches in a step-by-step -step manner under a fixed syllabus method. The second type of education, the second way in which education happens is non-formal. Non-formal means ch child may not necessarily go to some kind of school but learns in the community or learns from parents, learns at home and this we also called as homeschooling. In this method, child may decide to take up some kind of exams from NIOS or open schooling system. The first way in which the education happens is formal education. It is also known as formal learning which usually takes place within the premises of the school called schooling. It refers to the basic academic knowledge that a child learns in a formal manner. In this type of education, everything is fixed right from what is taught to how it is taught, when it is taught and how the learning is evaluated. It is more academic oriented and less experimental. The certification is generally granted from some boards or universities. The second way in which the education may happen is non-formal education. This type of education is child and family specific and takes place mostly at home. Hence, it is known as home schooling. This system is more flexible and allows the child more freedom to choose the subjects and the time to study and follow his or her own passion. It is less academic and more experimental type. The certification, if at all needed, can be done through NIOS and state open boards. The third way in which the education can happen is informal education. This is the type of education wherein a parent or community is teaching a child things that are beyond academics. The children learn from the socio-cultural environment of the place where they live and the places they visit. This type of system is not planned but happens as per the family background, circumstances and the will of the universe. When a child and family decides not to follow the other two systems, which is formal education and non-formal education, then it can be said that the child is following unschooling. There is no formal certification needed for this type of system. Now let us talk about the advantages and disadvantages of these three systems. The advantage of formal system is that it is more systematic and it is a step-by-step -step manner. It is organized and scheduled and it happens in a step-by-step -step systematic manner. But the disadvantage of formal system is it is time-consuming, stressful, not so interesting because of the long tenure of academic sessions and it is more like a rote learning. It is less of creativity and it tends to be outdated. The second form in which education happens is non-formal. 
In this, it is more personalized. It gives the freedom to the child to pursue his or her own passion while also uh, keeping aligned with the academics with various NIOS kind of boards. The disadvantage of non-formal is more responsibility is on the parent. So parent has to give lot of time if you are going to be homeschooling your child. And in this, it might prove to be costlier in certain cases based on uh, various parameters and it may lack discipline. The third kind in which the education happens is informal way. It is a natural way of learning and it is a process which comes from anywhere and everywhere. The disadvantage of informal learning can be the child may pick up wrong or misinformation or bad influence and it is not having any type of evaluation it is not having any type of systematic evaluation so these are the advantages and disadvantages of all the three types in which the education can happen our research has revealed that all the three systems are important for full development of a personality. Hence, as far as the education system is concerned, these three ways, none of the ways can be termed as a full sufficient in itself. What we need is combination and hence a student going in a purely formal schooling way also needs a part of non-formal education and a child who is deprived of the formal education who is purely in a non-formal education way also needs some level of formal education. Now we need to see that what can be retained in which system and what can be discarded. We need to reimagine all the three ways of education and keep what is required. So at the Life Engineering Academy, we have a combination of all the three ways in which the education can happen so that we make sure that there is 100% personality development of your child. So with this, we have finished the second letter in the English alphabet, which is B, the best education system. And now we are moving to the next letter, which is C in the next video. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you very much.